Good morning, America. This is Dr. Cherry from the Arizona. As always, my universal statement. Dr. Cherry is the first cosmic cup teaching humanity to understand and respect God cosmic design and reinsert Jesus' initial cosmic ministry, which has absolutely nothing to do with the Bible. But astrology, long story. One day I will explain it in details. What I can tell you is that you've been taking for a real big serious ride for a century. Thanks to the cooperation of the Vatican. All right, now, if you have read my newsletter or watch my YouTube video, I always tell you, during those windows, expect earthquakes at or above 6.0. On the window of the 23rd, that is the maximum energy, okay? The energy will always be a few days before, a few days after, I'm giving you the maximum impact. We had a 6.7 on the 23rd, uh, magnitude earthquakes in the Philippines. On the 22nd, we had another 6.7 in Panama. And on the 21st, we had a 6.0 in Papua New Guinea. Okay, when I'm telling you these things here, I am not saying, yes, yes, Dr. Cherry, you're the best. No, I'm not saying this. I'm just giving you warnings to when all those cosmic winds, which are manipulated by the reptilians, will produce all sorts of natural disaster. Now, of course, if you're born with a rational, logical UCI, your unique celestial identity, chances are you ain't gonna be able to digest, understand, or even accept my predictions, even when they are right in your face. Again, just click on the little link and read the email I sent to USGS in NASA in Pasadena many years ago, giving them dates of earthquakes ahead of time, well above 7.0. Be my guest, take the time. It is only if you are investigating my work and keep an open mind that you will realize what I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do is to pass on three very specific type of cosmic winds that affect the news and human being. Okay, so the one that we are currently is a shocking window. Shocking window means what it means, shocking, okay? And if you actually um, check at all the shocking news that we have had last few days, it's just absolutely and completely unarguable. If you want me to go through the details, good for you, I could do that. Okay, but, you know, I think it may be a good idea if you just take the time yourself to behave like a real investigator, a real critical thinking human being, a smart human being, I may add, and then realize what I'm talking about. Shocking window means you're sleeping in the middle of the night and up a sudden your building is crashing down. A shocking window is you're taking a balloon ride and next thing you know, you're hitting a power line, which are part of my keywords, by the way. A shocking window is a sudden release of energy that produces earthquakes, so that just mention them, okay? A shocking window is a woman that is holding a dog that leaps to death off her luxury building. That is shocking. It's not happening every day. 
a poor lady who was completely and entirely degenerated, depressed, reptilious, infected. She probably had a lot of money to live in the luxury building. That tells you you can have all the money in the world. If you're depressed, if you're unhappy, if you don't have love, if you don't have your health, what the hell are you doing on hell right here? And that's what she did. She took her life. A shocking window is when you see a beautiful young couple dancing. And the next thing you know, hey, she dances too hard and she blew up her knees. A shocking window is what happened to me today. I went outside to collect some boxes from Amazon Prime as my wife is decorating the house. And on my way in, I fell and I messed up my knees. Yeah, like I need that, but that's how it is. A shocking window is um, a good Samaritan which come to the rescue as a police officer was attacked in a parking lot. That tells me that from the shocking, unusual, electronic space type of news windows that we had with Bezo and um, Elon Musk, Look, we are moving closer and closer to a deadly plutonic window. A shocking window is the video that shows a dog chasing away a coyote from his 10-year-old owner. A shocking window <clears throat> is a tin that is actually having a mid-air collision with a seagull. Doesn't happen every day. Um, the shocking window is looking at a video of passengers that are trapped inside a submerged subway as a deadly flood sweep away everything in its path. A shocking window is a camera that captures the moment of a large explosion because the keyword I use mentioned explosion. A uh, shocking window is a TikTok video that goes viral that shows a terrifying moment as a man lets a bear, uh, a bear out of his car. You can go on and on and on and on. You cannot deny the values of my work if you take the time to investigate. It is as simple as that. Until then, you have the right to be skeptical. But you know what? Idiots and morons don't read. They assume. They immediately talk because they have to say something, not because what they have to say is going to help you to avoid being part of the deadly statistics which is cursing this planet in case you haven't noticed it because the reptilians are slowly but surely winning the game. Well, tomorrow night I will be on my good friend Tracy Austin radio show. So we're going to discuss all sorts of things. And towards the end of the show, I'm going to be doing some mini readings, you know, talking about whatever is left for this year if you're a lucky one and can go through. <clears throat> so don't miss it. Okay, it's tomorrow. Uh, you have all the information. It's a 10 to 12 uh, Eastern Standard Time, 7 to 9 Pacific Standard Time. Click on the link, it's in the newsletter. This newsletter is to, its title, <clears throat> SOS to the World Deadly Plutonic Window, July 30th, uh, not too far from now. You have been warned again. <clears throat> now, remember those windows, especially the plutonic windows, are directly related to the reptilians. It's the red carpet being laid down for those nasty entities to kill as many human beings as possible. Keywords are very simple and the quadrant very direct. I highlight it, ugly face of death, drama, horror surface. Why? Because crazy reptilian people will become very active against the police. 
some people will be killed and the police will kill people. Mass shooting is to be expected. Terrorism, cyber attack, news from Russia, wake up call, death, famous people dying, all sorts of nasty, nasty energies coming your way. It's a dangerous time that is ahead of you all, including me. And when those entities reign supreme, you better be cautious, my friends. Be careful what you say, what you do, where you go. As always, avoid large gathering unless you want to be caught in the middle of a firework of bullets. Be careful. That's why I'm here and it's free. I'm giving you my wisdom for free. Now, if you want to know more, that's a different story. Again, um, you need to be part of the solution here and to help me to reach many, many more true seekers. The world needs to know about those nasty entities cursing humanity and I have only you to help my mission. You have a link in that newsletter, ask for Dr. Cherry movie, Alien Contacted to be reinstated on Amazon Prime. Please click on it, help me. Even if you've done it before, go back, say, hey, where is Dr. Cherry's movie? Humanity is not ready for such far-fetched predictions. Being a prophet means I'm into the future. I see things you don't see just yet. I don't see with my five logical, rational human sense like you do. I see with my third eye. I'm able to tap in the archetypal realm of supracosmic consciousness. I was designed this way by God. It is a gift. It is a curse. I don't know anymore. But not a single human being is designed the same. You cannot teach Mozart or Beethoven, uh, anybody to become a Mozart or a Beethoven. Or you cannot teach anyone to sing and dance like Michael Jackson. We all have our gift. And so you too, you have a gift. The problem is that my envious, religious, or atheist enemies are very active. When I made this movie well before Trump uh, problems, okay, I mentioned very clearly he will not be reelected months ahead of time. Trump has a very heavy duty, solid base of fanatics, literally, who are not cosmic conscious. They fear power. They fear the government. They're gullible. They're just set by God himself to enjoy and, you know, like a duck that you stuff food in his throat to make his liver big so you can enjoy it. They enjoy all this conspiracy stuff. They need it like they need it to breathe, but they are unconscious of who they are and how they react to their environment. They are robots of their stars. So they cannot apply the will, which is the part of God in each one of us to control their idiosyncrasy. If a magnet will attract a piece of wood, if you vibrate at my cosmic speed, you'll understand me. If you are into conspiracy, Trump, Biden, or God knows what political you sign yourself up to, then you're going to support or go against these people. You are not cosmic conscious of your reactions to your environment, to your life around you. You are a robot of your stars, and that is very dangerous because now the reptilians can handle your stars and turn you into a fanatic. My good friend, you have so much, so much to learn. Remember my warning, the reptilians are after the police, government officials, Okay, that's why the Habana syndrome is cursing all these big people. They are, they are in charge of our destiny. So if their head is messed up, that'd be easy to go to the next step, which is nukes. Pay attention, my good friend. I don't have no joy telling you the truth. And you have to be made of steel. If you're not, nature will select you. You're going to leave me. You're going to go and see TikTok because you can't handle the fact. You can't handle the truth. 
that I represent. But at the same time, it doesn't mean we are doomed. And that's where you're missing the boat. Those reptilians are against government officials, against children, against teens, against the police. Remember my warning, policing will become so very dangerous that many brave servants will quit and a number of cops getting killed or killing citizens will explode in the months to come. Infected criminals will get bolder and wilder, committing crime against the police or humanity and the public never experienced before. Remember today, a good Samaritan came to the rescue as a police officer was attacked in a parking lot. Remember, this poor woman leaped to death of her luxury building. This is just tip of the iceberg. If you do not help me, you can laugh, you can criticize me, you can ridicule me. The facts are there. That's why I'm harassing you literally every single day to make you aware that we don't have to suffer those entities. We can ally together and we can use the same psychical power. Remember those entities survive with fear, negativity, chaos. They created 875 different religions to neutralize Jesus' initial cosmic ministry, which is astrology. They are constantly, constantly creating chaos because dark matter, negativity is where they belong, is where they are from, into the death of dark matter. They are part of what Christians call Satan and evil, not realizing that there is also the light, love, happiness, success, education, integrity, the beauty of being alive, the age of Aquarius, those two forces. And um, millions of millions of people are looking for ETs. My friend, they're already in your head. And I remember what I went through since I'm a child with extraterrestrials. I'm, <laughs> I'm well past believing in UFOs. It's like astrology. It's not a religion. It's real. But unless you educate yourself and raise your psychical vibrations, you're going to keep endlessly feeding those reptilians every chance you got to be negative. Do not be negative. You're going to be consumed, attract, melt into, and finally become part of this dark matter negativity. What well, I am here trying to push you into the other side. Have faith, regardless of what's going on. We are not doomed. God will not allow his children to perish suffocated. God will not allow his children to die for no reasons. And most of all, the Draconis, the benevolent extraterrestrials, the gardeners of this world, ain't going to allow those entities to destroy the world. And you're going to say, oh, but why they are not more active? Because they are law obedient. The, the Galactic Grand Federation of Galactic Cosmic Orders is not allowing any extraterrestrials, good or bad, to interfere with the humans' affair. That's why they are working behind the scene, but you're connected to this light. You're connected to this power. Or you may call it, oh, Virgin Mary, my guardian angel, my blessed spirit, whatever. But it's the Draconis. I'm here to make you aware of the potential that you were born with. The problem is, you know what? I think of any one of my clients, I see, I see them as airplanes. They all want to fly high. They want to be above. They want to see everything. They want to be happy, wealthy, rich. They find and enjoy true love. Have the blessings that they were born to enjoy. Yet, none of these people want to learn the complexity of the working of the airports, the complexity of the aeronautics, 
that take this plane off the ground and keep it safely flying. The weather, anything that involves that airplane, hey, you ain't gonna be able to fly it if you're not educated. Education is not the, the key. Knowledge is power, ignorance is evil. For if you manage to take this airplane off the ground, my good friend, you're gonna die. I see you as beautiful shadow, able to do so much. Yet you don't even know the location of your Jupiter, the Lord of lack, the Lord of expansion that's promising you more than what you could ever dream of if you tap on your Jupiter by house and by signs. You know nothing about Saturn, the great Manific, and how he curses your life with the black moon. You know nothing of the universal laws that can help you to shine like a star and to reach all your dreams. There is no reason really for you to suffer, to be depressed, to be lonely, or to be sick. You were not born to experience that. You are bringing it to yourself because you do not know that is the problem. Now, there are millions and millions of astrologers, prophets, wannabe psychics out there. Many of them have great gifts, but many of them are Neptunians. They don't have cosmic consciousness. And many of them need more help than you do. That's the sad reality. Listen to your intuition, my good friend, because that's all you have. That little voice here never lied to you, ever. You need to pay attention. There is ways for you to connect with your subconscious, with your subconscious to guide you. You need to learn how to develop your sensitivity and your awareness of omens which are thrown around you nonstop. But if you are not guided by someone who knows a little bit better than you do, and I think at 71 years old, I should know a little bit more than many, many of those kids watching me right here, right now, who doubt my gift. That is the questions. Are you ready for me? Because be sure I am ready for you. And if you look and read the newsletter, which you should but have posted associated with this video, just read at what those who have seen me last few days have said about my work. Again, if you're not happy, it's because you do not leave your destiny. Oh, but you're going to say, my gosh, Dr. Cherry, 350, 700 bucks. That's a hell of a lot of money. Yes, because you're going to get what you paid for. Do you think your life, your health, your happiness, your success is worth $350 or $700 when some of you are spending a fortune just to be alive today? Listen to your intuition. All I can assure you and guarantee you that once you're done with me, you're going to have a very different perspective to what life is all about. And you'll understand much more of what it means to be human because, my good friend, you are so much more than bone, flesh, and nerve. You're a human being loaded with extraordinary power, yet nobody is teaching you how to tap in your subconscious. And that's why I'm so mad. That's why I wanted to produce that movie but the reptilians are stopping me all along. And all I have is you. All I have is you. So show me, show me your support. And if you did it already, click on the link in that newsletter. Go to Amazon Prime and tell them, hey, please, I like Dr. Therese's movie. Can you please reinstate it? I only have you. And sad enough, in these very dramatic days, you only have me. The good news is you have a true prophet that really cares for you. All right, my good friends, be careful. 
We are moving into this nasty SOS to the world. As always, come back to the newsletter as I add all this news to help you to assimilate Nostradamus 16th century divine astrology. And then let's hope maybe if you get lucky, you get to talk to me tomorrow night on the radio show that I'm going to be doing. So this is what it is. Oh, the new 2022 Nostradamus forecast, personal and universal world sign uh, will be soon released. I'm working really, really hard trying to produce it. As always, it should come out around August. Try to get it out early this year because a lot of people need my guidance and a lot of you cannot afford 350 or 700. Uh, but make the most because, you know, once I retire for good in Florida and I go out there, you know, having fun on the Gulf of Mexico, my boat uh, as a boat captain, uh, it'll be a thousand dollars just to talk to me. So know that I don't want to serve you anymore, but you know what? Getting tired. My don't, I don't look it, I don't look 71 years old, but I feel it. My back is messed up. I had an injection on my uh, thumb a couple of days ago. I have a trigger thumb. This one, I have permanent damage, nerve damage. When this idiot ran into my ass and left my Mercedes with his BMW, he messed up my back, he messed up my neck, he messed up my, my two thumbs went through the, the, the steering wheel and flipped out and messed me up big time until they fell. That's where I realized I'm 71 years old. So as long as I can last, I will do all that I can. But um, I'm getting tired. All right, my good friends, one more time. Thank you very much for your trust in my work. Please copy the link, share my work, help me save a precious life, especially if you're a cop. Be careful again, what you do, what you say, avoid conjectured place. The reptilians are going to do a lot of mess. Just be cautious. Until then, God, God, God bless all of you, my good friend. Again.